Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly tarot reading for August 6th to August 12th, 2018. Before we go to the weekly spread I want to remind you Libras that the monthly tarot readings are already up on the channel and if you didn't have a chance by now, you know, feel free to browse them down and uh, kind of enlighten yourself for what is to come into month of August. So that set aside, going into your weekly tarot reading here, the first card representing the topic of the week, we have the, uh, the High Priestess followed by the core of the situation here, this is going to be the Queen of, uh, the Queen of Cups. Afterwards we have uh, the challenges to be overcome, that will be the Knight of Pentacles and the last one is uh, the guidance that you should follow here, the Death card. Huh, this is going to be rather very passive week for you Libras and uh, the Queen of Cups here does not play a role of a person, just on the contrary, you will be uh, falling into that um, specific uh, position as realizing that being frantic about your job, being frantic about your relationship or in general, you know, wanting to achieve something first needs to have its preparation. So that week it is what you are going to uh, focus on, preparing yourself for the greatest step that, uh, that will follow further into the future. Now this plate with the High Priest is here, it does look like that you are going to be rather very quiet, very patient, uh, trying to obtain the answers that are kind of bugging your mind right now, not realizing you know uh, where you are heading to, for example, what your relationship is going to turn out about and in general the High Priestess here represents the seeker who tries to find their place into the grand scheme of things. So this week it is what you are going to kind of obtain an insight of. The, your place in the grand scheme of things and what your next aims should be and or you know how the most effectively you can achieve the current aims that you do have in front of yourself as the Queen of Cups here represents exactly that a realization that one needs to plan first and one needs to as well listen to their intuition uh, <clears throat> and kind of incorporate their emotions with the actions that they're about to take so uh, it is likely that you're going to uh, understand that at this particular moment maybe not of you maybe in the most aspects of your life you're not feeling exactly happy and there is what needs to be improved. How, however, needs to be improved, that will be the answer that you're going to find that week. And because we do have the High Priestess, no one can give you that answer, but you have to find it for yourself as this card represents silence and that is the silence of all exterior voices, uh, but one, your inner voice. So, uh, my point here is, is that no tarot reader, no astrologer, no psychic can give the answer that you seek, all right, the grand scheme of things. So if things aren't working out, patience and planning are the virtues that you can clinch on this week and by being careful, by being, you know, elaborative about uh, with yourself, what I mean, about what you want to do and how you want to achieve a particular thing, it is likely that your strategy is going to start changing by you realizing that whatever approach you were thinking to take or you are making by, the, uh, by now, it is not exactly the most effective one as I said at the start. Now, however, the problem here is going to be the Knight of Pentacles and that could represent a um, person that you are working with, that you are with, you know, or in general someone who has uh, an involvement with your life as this person it is very slow, that person it is very simple should I say as well and their actions are all always supported with, uh, with determination and with uh, with with convictions with with convictions uh, that being said it, it will be very difficult for you to uh, how can i place it it will be very difficult for you to convince that person that this it is what you need that insight it is what you why you have kind of like closed yourself within yourself because they will probably question you you know why you have become distant that particular week you know why you're not calling me why you're not involving yourself with uh, activities kind of that, that involves me as well etc etc 
and uh, it's kind of like it will be very difficult for you, you know, to give a, a reasonable explanation because you can feel why, but the feelings cannot be described. To describe a feeling is the same thing to, des to describe the color black. You can't, black is just, it's just black. You cannot describe it. So, uh, what will be the ultimate goal here as we do have the death card? as the guidance card for you Libras is to uh, achieve a, a total transition in your life so your aims should be focused on changing you know your understanding your perceptance um, perception excuse me and as well your approach and understanding in general of what of the position that you are finding yourself at so after this particular week uh, Libra it is likely that you will become much more humble you will become much more direct uh, direct, uh, directed or channeled should I say toward one particular vision and goal and uh, at the things which were bothering you until uh, until right now that you are feeling very insecure about will bother you no longer because you will have your answer. So that being said, uh, Libras, this was your a weekly tarot reading for August 6 to August 12, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down below in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.